Well, hello everyone, it's Rona here and welcome back to my channel Art Infinity by Rona Pedro. You are a gift to the world, therefore you have something great and unique to contribute to this world. Why not leave a comment here to let me know where you are from? Maybe you have ideas to share about art. I welcome your thoughts or suggestions about the videos I have been sharing here with you. I want to hear from you. Today I ask myself if I'm a self-taught artist or a naturally born artist. Has this question come to your mind? Many artists might have asked themselves this question. Well, what is an artist by the way? I simply type it in the Google browser, what is an artist? Google responded that an artist is a noun. It is a person who produces paintings or drawings as a profession or hobby. It is a person who practices any of the various creative arts such as a sculptor, novelist, poet, or filmmaker. And I like the third definition which says that an artist is a person skilled at a particular task or occupation. Just like my painting subject today, Rina Osbey, she is a young singer and actress who is skilled in singing and acting. And by the way, I love her portrayal of Abigail in the third episode of the Chosen TV series Season 1. I have included more information links about her and the series in the description box below. So what is an artist? One answer that keeps coming back in my head is that an artist is a person skilled at a particular task or occupation. What are you skilled at? Do you do gardening very well? How about speaking? Maybe you are good at organizing, leading, mentoring in many sorts and so on. Perhaps you have not discovered yet what you are good at. Well, why am I mentioning all these when I am only asking myself if I am a self-taught or a naturally born artist? The fact is, I am asking you too. I pose this question to enable us to think about where we are at right now in our individualities or in our inclinations to improve our artistic abilities, to ponder on things we like to do, things that we are passionate about. I believe that nowadays even in my multiple responsibilities, a wife, a mom, a teacher, and now a freelance artist sharing artwork here on YouTube. I believe that I am still honing my capacities and skills while balancing all my responsibilities and things I like to do. However, the notion of either I am a self-taught artist or a naturally born artist keeps ringing in my head. Well, we have already known the definitions of the word artist. Let's now see the difference between a self-taught artist and a naturally born artist. A self-taught artist, as I Google it, is an artist who did not receive formal training in the visual arts or whose formal training did not influence their artistic practice. Self-taught artists may or may not work as professional artists in the mainstream art world. Self-taught artists, as a group, do not necessarily belong to one particular movement or genre. Hearing this definition, I consider myself a self-taught artist. I did not have any formal training in visual arts. However, I am passionate about developing my artistic fancies. For example, I love the use of the oil medium in painting and never had been through art school to study the many basics and complex world of oils. However, I continue to learn. I had been through some informal art classes before and even look at the many oil painters online who offer invaluable teachings on oil paintings. More than that, in my use of oils and applications, I believe that the more I practice, the more I learn. As a self-taught artist, I find myself always looking for some ways to improve my art. I look at videos and tips and tricks in the use of oils. Looking at the works of many other painters from all over the world helps me get insights and inspirations. It is some kind of an adventure delving my mind into constant research and learning. After all, I am a strong believer that life is a continuous learning process. 
Now, let's look at the idea of being a naturally born artist. Well, quite obviously, a naturally born artist is one who is inclined to create, write, express, and explore most of their lives. I found an article online by Nicholas Cole, an author, columnist, and marketing strategist who has written multiple articles and gained 16 million views. In the article I found, he shared the seven signs you are naturally born artist. The seven signs blow me away, thinking that, oh my, this is who I am. I have included a link to his article in the description box below, so please feel free to check on that. On the other hand, I am a big believer in being someone who is created to create. I mean, all of us are created to create. In our everyday undertaking, we create many things, and they are not the same. What you and I create each day are different from each other. Our ideas differ that when we put them into action and make our ideas into something physical, the result is that each of the products is unique. For instance, in painting, two artists may want to paint the same subject, but they produce all different products. This leads me to how God, as the ultimate creator, created all things differently. I mean, each human being is unique. No two people are the same in this world. Even identical twins have many things not in common. I am original, not cloned or photocopied from. I am me and no one is like me. Just like each one of you. You are created as you, the one and only you in this entire universe. Have you discovered many things about yourself, about what you like to do? about things you are passionate about, maybe things that you want to contribute to the world because you think that you have some solutions to share in such a, in such a problematic world. Therefore, I want to say that you and I are created with talents and gifts. I am sure God put us here in this world for great reasons. He is just amazing in all His works. Look at the trees, the oceans, the clouds, the birds. God created them for us to live and enjoy. God is amazing. He is good and He created good things for our good. Our natural artistic abilities, for example, have been designed in our DNA so we can be good in our existence. So friends, I keep on sharing my artwork with you. I believe I am a naturally born artist who keeps on honing my artistic instincts, teaching myself for good works. I want to encourage you to cultivate the talent God has given you. Maybe you have the gift of singing, maybe writing, or even similar to what I like to do. No matter how young or old you may think you are, you can improve too by teaching yourself. You can do some research to improve and to teach yourself. Walk in your passion. God said in Ephesians 2.10, for we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Friends, thank you for visiting my channel and thank you for listening. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button so you will be first to hear me next time. Leave a comment below and hit the like button to let me see your thoughts of encouragement. See you soon!